What happened to Gao's men? I thought they abandoned him, but it looks like you had to fight them all. I didn't realize you took that much of a risk getting to me. Thank you. I guess so. I heard Gao ordering them to kill anyone who approached. It's too bad so many people had to suffer for this. His mercenaries didn't seem too eager to follow me into the cave, though. It seemed like they were humoring him. Maybe they were his father's men. I don't... Wait. Do you hear something? There are so many. Where are they coming from? You should be more concerned with where they are going. You may have won a victory over Gal the Lesser, but it looks like he put things in motion that have outlived him. What? What do you mean? These machines have weapons. They drop casks that explode on impact. There will be soldiers on the ground as well. Was... was that what Gal meant? He said something about death coming from above for Master Lee. It doesn't matter. We have to get back. The students! Everyone will need our help! Walk away, Dawnstar. You won't get there in time. Better to avert your eyes than see something you care about fall to ruin. Save yourself the pain. This machine of Gauss, do you know how to make it work? Could you fly it? I doubt there are two people in the Empire that know how they work. It's a baffling combination of magic and artifice. We may be able to do it among the three of us. I was told that they are simple to control. So you don't really know? If you actually cared about the safety of this machine, you wouldn't be about to fly it into a swarm of enemies. What guarantee do you want? There is a handle attached to something like the reins of an ox yoke. You move it left and right, forward and back. It should swim through the air fairly smoothly. Will you come to help us, Zoo? You seem to have a good heart. If you are intent on returning, I will accompany you. I've already done more than I wanted, but I could not avoid this forever. You are an interesting person, Sagacious Sue. Your eyes hold a great sadness that is oddly familiar to me, but I don't know why. Perhaps I am imagining it. We will discuss it another time. I hope we are not too late.
just what I expected. I'm sorry you had to see this. I saw the smoke from the air, but I didn't think... didn't think it would be so bad. Everyone... everyone is gone. I hope you were right. Master Lee wouldn't let this happen, not without a fight. Do what you can together. We will meet in the heart of your school. challenge in killing simple peasants they said no survivors so there better be no survivors I know I know but who is this for whoever's really giving the orders must be influential do you want to ask out the greater no so quit yapping and make sure there's no survivors looks like we have a few more peasants to put down Let's just make it quick. Legendary strike! What is this? We missed a couple of these pitiful students? This is like crushing ants. There's no end to you people. Ants? That's all their lives were to you? Huh. The same question all the others asked. You'll get the same answer, too. Men! Gal the Greater wants this village cleared. Get the job done.
Legendary strike. There were so many, everywhere, and fire from the skies. Shh. We've chased off all of Gao's men. They'll be safe now. No, they came later. First there were fighters in black. With fists you could hardly see. She told them where to attack and they turned like... Like one mind. One purpose. Except... Except for the one. He stood alone. His armor so black. Black like a hole in the earth. So deep you, you can't... Can't get out. You'll be all right. Just be still. I tried. I tried so hard. I'm sorry. Wu said... He said there was no warning. Just calm skies and then fire from above. He organized the students, but they were overrun. Master Li was taken when it began. He went without a fight, giving them what they wanted. But afterwards, the students... They were killed anyway. The Lotus Assassins. They leave no one alive to tell the tale. People fear the unknown. For Gao the Greater to have them as allies is troubling. The figure your friend spoke of is Death's Hand, the leader of the Lotus Assassins. This... student was strong to live as long as he did. A lieutenant, perhaps. Death's hand leads all others. He would not appear unless this was important. He usually acts behind the scenes. I don't know why they were so intent on taking your Master Lee, but they never attack without purpose. Gal raved about a lot of things, like hearing Master Lee tell you that he was the glorious strategist. What does it mean? That's not possible. Sun Li, the glorious strategist, was the Emperor's brother and the head of the Imperial Army. Your Master Li cannot be him. Why not? Because he can't. Sun Li was declared a traitor to the Empire 20 years ago. The Emperor himself accused him of killing the third brother, Prince Qin. And besides, the glorious strategist would not have made such mistakes. What mistakes? Revealing himself for one. For another, he would have known that giving himself up would not save your students. I stayed on the outskirts. I saw him at a distance a couple of times, but had no reason to look past the beard for a man 20 years dead. I had other interests. It doesn't matter. 
I know enough about the glorious strategist to say he would not have made these mistakes. And I know far too much about the Lotus Assassins. I... I was one. It doesn't matter. But she is right to question me. I'm accustomed to such suspicion. It doesn't matter. Whoever you are, whatever you were, you did not do this, and you do not have our master. We need... We need to decide what to do. When we know where we are going, when we have a plan, then we can talk about who knows what. I doubt I could change your resolve, even if I wanted to. Perhaps I can at least try to point you in a productive direction. If you wish to pursue this, we should head to the heart of the Empire, the Imperial City. Gal the Greater was behind this attack, but I suspect there is someone else behind him. You will find your answers in the Imperial City. You know a lot. We will have to talk about the source of that knowledge. Make whatever judgment you wish. I assure you, I have already made worse. Let's go. I don't... I don't want to be here. I want to go where I can actually make a difference. That is... A very common desire. The hardest to achieve, but very common. Come, let's see if we can get Gao the Lesser's contraption in the air again. It won't be stable enough to get to the Imperial City, but we might reach the trading village of Tien's Landing. All trade routes lead to the heart of the Empire. If we are lucky, we can find someone to give us passage. If we're lucky. Fly lower and avoid the rest. Fly lower and avoid the rest.
was quite the crash. I wouldn't have left the marsh had I known we were headed for such a spectacular landing. It's a miracle we all survived unharmed. Uh, we did all survive, didn't we? I'm okay, too. A little shaken up is all. We were lucky. Only a fool braves the air currents without a proper wind map. You can't navigate the skies without them. Not safely, anyway. So where are we going to find a wind map of this region? We can't follow Master Lee's captors without one. Things are even worse than that. Look at our flyer. Even if we had a wind map, this thing wouldn't take to the air again. <laughs> you make it sound so simple. Flyers and wind maps are rare things, even in the Imperial City. Out here, they're all but unknown. Gao and his pirates used flyers to attack two rivers, and the Lotus assassins who took Master Lee had them too. Somebody around here must know something about them. I'm... I'm sorry to get upset, but every second we're stuck here, Master Lee gets farther away from us. We're near Tien's Landing. It's a small village, but maybe someone there knows where we can find a new flyer. If nothing else, I remember a clearing suitable for a camp. And if we can't find a flyer, we can always follow on foot. To the south of the village is a forest. A trade route leads through it to the Imperial City. The village is across the bridge and beyond a large marker stone. Look for the giant rock with a painting of a fish on it, and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. Very well, although I do not like the thought of remaining here for long. I sense something. This place is tainted. Something bad happened here. <laughs> yes, we crashed our flyer and almost died. No, it's something else. I I'm sure it's nothing. Hurry, there has to be a safer place for us to camp than this. Thank <laughs> you. 
I am honored that you have chosen me. Let's keep things simple. If someone gets in our way, remove them. I don't think we're alone. Something does not rest easy. from the sky, but despite the maddened spirits here, you will benefit. A spirit monk was here long ago, fleeing the destruction that orphaned you. He carried a piece of your amulet. It was separated, broken apart so your enemies could not find it easily. You have the first piece. It trains your abilities now. The second piece fell here with its minder, hidden until waters receded. A guardian protects it, waiting to test and serve you. The third piece awaits discovery in a distant lair. These three pieces are physical, but there is one more. It cannot be found, only earned. This final piece is all that will save you in the end. Easy there. You fell flat on your face after the fight. Are you prone to that sort of thing? In the what? Your master taught you some interesting things. Come on, we need to move our camp somewhere that no ghosts attack. I know a clearing just outside of Tien's Landing where we can set up camp. The flyer will be safe enough if we leave it here. It's not going to get any worse, that's for certain. Just cross the bridge and head south. Let's get going.
Make your way south across the bridge and onto Tien's Landing. Restored. Stop where you are. Death's Hand should know better than to send his minions out alone. It is clear that you are one of his hirelings, or perhaps one of Gao the Greater's marauding pirates. You will pay for the crimes you have committed. Don't waste your last breath on lies. I didn't get there in time to help anyone, but I saw you lead the massacre in two rivers. Clearly you were involved. Death's hand went too far in ordering its destruction, and Gao the Greater sought to profit from it. My retribution will end with them, but it will begin with you. seems odd. A flaw I cannot see, perhaps? But you are better than I expected. You might even beat me if I allowed such insolence. 
You are too skilled to be just a hireling. Death's Hand would view such ability outside his assassins as dangerous, and Gao the Greater prefers his servants docile. So it would appear, you lack their branding. But if you are not one of them, who are you? A monk? A mercenary? A bandit? You chase a great evil, larger than you realize. Leave, and you may survive. Others have tried to face Death's Hand, but were destroyed, as Two Rivers was. Your honor sends you toward peril, but you do not flinch from it. A trait of fools, and perhaps the occasional hero. I also seek answers from Death's Hand and his minions. If you truly oppose him, you will need to find your way to the Imperial City. Of course, only the Lotus Assassins can come and go as they please, thanks to Gao. Travel routes by land and water are blocked, but they use wind maps and flyers to further their goals here and in the surrounding forest. Perhaps, if you are capable, we will meet again. I wish you good luck, but you will need far more than that to survive. Farewell. Make your way south. This area is off limits. Intruders will be executed. I am a soldier of the Imperial Army, sent by Death's Hand to destroy anyone foolish enough to enter this place. Unfortunately, this includes you. Kill the peasant. Stop! I'm not your enemy. I, I swear by my ancestors, I'm not your enemy. I'm not even a soldier. Even though I wear this uniform, I I'm no soldier. My name is Chen Yi. I'm just a simple peasant from the town of One Stone. These soldiers passed through my village a few weeks ago. 
One of them angered the Lotus Assassin who was in charge, and the Assassin killed him. As I was coming back in from the fields, they grabbed me to fill his place. They put this uniform on me, blood stains and all, and told me I was in the army. I... I will do my best, but I don't know anything. The Lotus Assassins just told us to guard the gate while they searched the ruins. That's all, I, I swear. No, nothing. Only that the gate leading into them was locked. The Lotus Assassins had to get a key from Shang, the Imperial Minister in Tian's Landing. But I think... I think the ruins are haunted. I hear strange sounds coming from beyond the gates. But even the threat of ghosts can't keep the Assassins from their search. I don't know. I was here on the far side of the gate, and the gate itself is locked. Only the Lotus Assassins themselves are allowed into the ruins. They are evil. Pure evil. They forced me to serve them. They would have killed me if I disobeyed. I had no choice but to guard this door while they searched the ruins. Of course, Great One. I will return to my village and lead an upright life of farming and praying. Thank you for sparing me. Thank you. There you are. I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't want to wait back there any longer. I don't think anything will hurt the flyer. It's plenty hurt already. I found this gem in the wreckage. I'm not sure what it was attached to, but I'm sure you can use it for something. Now that we're here, we should see if anyone knows anything about flyers. Maybe whoever is in charge of the town can help us get underway again. Unless you need me, I will stay here at this new camp. It seems safe enough, and it may as well serve as a base for us. Yes? Is there something you want? I won't get in your way, if you don't get in mine. I have nothing more to say about where we are. Our enemy? The sure sign of an effective fighter is that he has many enemies. Which are you most curious about? This small man. He bears a grudge against the world because his wealth cannot buy him the status he wants. At least that is my estimation of him. If we encounter him in his holdings near Tian's Landing, I doubt he will be very welcoming. 
Not after he learns the fate of his son. You name the Emperor among your personal foils. You have a grand opinion of yourself. Don't be so quick to link Sun Hai to the destruction you have seen. Death's hand may still answer to him, but it is a long leap from that to assuming the Emperor approves of what the Lotus Assassins have done. Both of those possibilities will be hard for people to swallow. The Emperor is the Emperor. He is above weakness or viciousness. To question that is to question the nature of the Jade Empire, and I'm not... not many people are willing to do that. The Emperor is the foundation upon which we build. If he is weakened, we all fall. There is little to tell that would affect you now. The Assassins are fanatically loyal to Death's Hand, and he uses that influence to do as he wishes. He also controls the Imperial Army, but they are no longer in his favor, it seems. Mere guards in comparison to the Assassins. Death's Hand was just beginning his rise to power when I left the Lotus Assassins. I do not know much more about him. I will answer what I wish. I can assure you that I no longer share an allegiance with them. It was a short dalliance that ended on poor terms. I won't discuss that. Perhaps I will say more when I know your motives better, but for now my past is my own. I'm not concealing anything that will harm you or your cause. You and Dawnstar have my full support, but my past is my own affair. Goodbye then. Nara ir fone wunu kanawa ofa ir kanu wunu. Mother and I are getting out of this town. If you have any sense, you'll do the same. Up wak wak wo so soni a sona fone a sisa ya nauko. Si sair e fogoso no coso aerea, sair canoa fano e. It's sure to be more exciting than this dead place. Konio kio e kawa e o kawa e watita o sia kwanif ni pawi. Pia uksaia sinini si sair rusta a kapafa e sumpuno ko suir to eruk. Si sair e fogoso no coso ayer ya, sair canoa fano ir. 
Uyo we apafawa ye CCR CC tool talk. Wo ye walk walk finiers here. Wo wo tawa ye kupia kawia nakawia ipduki. The pirates are Gao the Greater's men. He has holdings near here, and access to quite a lot of flyers, as you've seen. Pierre Uxayer Sinini Sisayer Rusta Atapafawir Sumhuno Ko Suir Toeruk. Sisayer Ifok Wosono Kosoairia Sayer Kanoa Fwanuir. Wo wo tawa yer kupia kawia nakawia ipduki. Wo nipi yer uksa yer si sini nisa yer busta. Wo ifu yer uksu nuk no kawa yer. Ukiyer nepo si se sa yer wo sa yer wo sa yer nifu yer. No ni wo wo sa yer tar wo wo yer ignisaro kunkna. Wo ya asir wo sayer if a sayer wo kau ye sheer No ni wo sayer tar wo wo ye ignisaro kunkna Wo yo we a pafawa ye sisi her sisi to talk Wo ye wak wak finier sheer Koni o kio e kawa e o kawa e watita o si a kwani ni pa u e. Out of our way, woman. In this town, we don't step aside for you. You step aside for us. The peasants of this village may cower before you, but I do not. If you are smart, you will apologize for your behavior and walk away. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> you think I won't hit a woman? You have to learn your place. This whole town has to learn its place. What are you looking at? This doesn't concern you. Time to teach you all a lesson. Staff! <laughs> 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 It's been a long time, Zhu. I haven't seen you since that night. I did as you asked. The child is safe. I made sure of that. I know. After we spoke, I followed you. I... I wanted to be sure she was given a good home. You did well, Hui. Hui and I knew each other long ago. She was a soldier, and I... I needed her help. There was a child. An orphan. I knew Hui could find a good home for her. She was just a girl. Her parents were dead. I couldn't look after her, and I knew Hui by reputation. I knew she would find a good home for her.
She's safe. That's all you need to know. She doesn't concern you. Besides, we don't have time to worry about something that happened almost 20 years ago. Yes, those are old worries. Thank you for your actions today. Even if these men were no real threat, just simple sailors frustrated at the shallow river that holds them here. There are pirates in the area, and they pose a far greater danger. You will likely encounter them, especially if you are the one I am waiting for. As Sagacious Zoo mentioned, my name is Hui. Tell me, young woman, what is your master's name? I have waited here many years for the arrival of one special fighter. Your master, Sun Li, bid me to wait until you, his protege, came seeking information. So it's true. Master Li really is the Emperor's brother. I wish... I wish I had known. He is gone, isn't he? Taken by the Lotus Assassins just as he thought. He knew they were always searching. They are right to fear him and his legacy. The glorious strategist was certain the path to the Imperial City would bring you here. He was also very specific about how I present my information to you. You must be ready. I served under Sun Li and was one of a few soldiers he trusted enough to contact after Dirge fell. Li knew the events there would have great consequences. He told me of the weeks-long siege and how spirit monks were slaughtered so his brother could take their temple. It was madness. The Emperor killed the Water Dragon itself. The Water Dragon? The Shepherd of the Dead, a goddess of rebirth. To try and steal her power, to even think it could be attempted. Has any mortal ever shown such arrogance? There are many beings that exist beyond our experience. The heavens are governed by a celestial bureaucracy. Each facet of existence is managed by a specialized attendant. Most appear to have little influence, but some, like the Water Dragon, have a portfolio that grants exceptional status. She was said to have governance over the Great Wheel. She was not a maker, but all life that ended passed her gaze before returning to the Earth in another form. Sun Hai sought rebirth for his empire at the cost of the natural order. Her body was taken to the palace as a grim trophy of the power that ended the long drought. All the while, the people hailed the emperor as a hero, ignorant of the price. Even a god is not invincible. They have their place and it can be challenged. Sun Li could not stop the slaughter of the spirit monks. He fled the battle with you in his arms. Most believe Sun Li fell at Dirge, a lie spread by the Emperor. A handful of us knew that he lived, and we also learned the terrible price of his rebellion. Li's wife was with child, his daughter born in the Imperial Palace while he was at Dirge. He never saw her. Within weeks of the siege, the Emperor had Li's family executed. <laughs> executed? Murdered? The Lotus Assassins were to cut them down. A mother and newborn child. I have no doubt that order came from Death's hand himself. He probably didn't think his family would be harmed, but even had he known, he might still have saved you. Lee knows you have a destiny to fulfill. You're the last of your kind. The natural order has been disrupted. There is much to say, but first, I was instructed to impart some very specific knowledge. Your master was very clear. It is time to continue your training, and I am honored to add to the basics that Sun Lee instilled. 
A brief description should reinforce the style you saw me use. Certain lessons had to be withheld until you were ready for the attention they will bring. Sun Lee taught me so that I would teach you. I must train you in Spirit Thief. Magic and weapons tire you. Draw on them too much and you could be left defenseless. Spirit Thief restores your chi, prolonging your ability to fight or ignore wounds. It is especially useful when enemies are immune to basic martial attacks, when you must use magic or weapons. It can even immobilize a foe, allowing time to recover even more. This short lesson should be enough for now. Come speak with me in the tea house. We will talk of your master and more. Please, please excuse me. I, I know I shouldn't be crying in public like this, but I just, I just can't help it. Please, I'm just a humble woman. My name is Seamstress Lawn, and I have a problem I don't know how to solve. I thought, I thought you could help, but I was afraid to speak to you. It's my fiance, Baker Bay. Every day a group of thugs attacks him and beats him up. He tries to avoid them, but they find him wherever he goes. The beatings are getting worse. I'm... I'm terrified they're going to kill him. After I saw you take on those sailors, I thought... Well... But there isn't! My poor Bay has done nothing to these men. They attack him for no reason at all. Please, you have to help him. I beg you. I knew you'd understand being a woman. Thank you, my lady. If our firstborn is a girl, she shall have your name. Bay is down at Beggar's Pier right now in the southeast corner of town. If you hurry, you can probably get there before the thugs attack him today. You really shouldn't be here. Mr. Tay does not like others to observe him working. Who let you back here? It's bad enough I must work with incompetence. I don't need you walking through my kitchen. Unless, uh, pretty lady, you've come to take me from this existence of pain with your considerable charms. Yeah, me too, okay, Mr. Tay? Step back, Mr. Wong. You just... Step back.
A polite response from one of you strangers? Go on, don't waste your respect on me. I'm no high minister. I just cook. Then go walk around it. I do not waste my time collecting rumors. Everybody eats. That is all I need to know. Good. I need to concentrate on the menu. You want to eat, you'll leave me alone. You're a stranger here, aren't you? I know everyone in Tian's Landing, and I've never seen you before. I would remember you. You should turn right around and leave this town. Trust me. I am Gufu, Great One. Some call me Gufu the Sweet, though I don't know why. I usually smell like the fish I sell. Perhaps they are making fun of me. But now, there are no fish to sell. I have lived in Tian's Landing all my life, but now, I'm ashamed to say I wish I lived somewhere else. Everything in Tian's Landing is falling apart. Sheng, the local minister, is helpless to deal with all our troubles. You should get out while you can. Of course, Great One. I would be honored to answer whatever questions you may have. Airship? I have only heard of such things. Graceful ships that sail through the air? I've always longed to see one, but I'm just a simple peasant. Perhaps Minister Shang would know something of this. He once lived in the Imperial City. I have heard the skies above it are filled with airships. There's a road off to the right just beyond this tea house. Keep following it up until you reach the town square. Minister Shang is usually there. Of course, Great One. I would be honored to answer whatever questions you may have. What is it you wish to know? I'm afraid I don't know, honored stranger. You should speak with Leisha and the talkative. If anyone would know the tale, he would. You could probably find him wandering around the town somewhere, wasting time and looking for people willing to listen to his stories. If you go around the side of the tea house, you'll see a path leading up to the town square, the highest point in Tian's Landing. What few goods the merchants have are for sale there. They have very little, however, since the town is cut off. Take care of yourself, stranger, and be glad that you do not live in Tian's Landing. Things have never been easy in Tian's Landing. Don't be like that. Welcome, stranger! Welcome to beautiful Tien's Landing! Isn't it a glorious day? Oh, I know, people complain and grumble, but honestly, I think they're overreacting. Things can't be that bad, right? After all, you're here. If the town was truly doomed, would we still be getting visitors? Ha, <laughs> I think not. In fact, I think your presence here is a sure sign that things are looking up. Soon, all our problems will be solved. It's just like I kept saying. Call me Lee Shun the talkative, though I have no idea why. I'm actually a basket maker. In fact, I dare say I am the best basket maker in all of Tien's Landing. Of course, with the dam open, ships can't navigate the river. So I have no supplies to make my baskets and no customers to buy them. But am I worried? <laughs> of course not. My 
children only need one meal a day. After all, they're small. And my wife can take a third job if necessary. I know things will turn around soon. Denial? Preposterous! Sure, half the people have moved away, and those who stayed have mostly given up hope, and the entire town is running out of food and silver. But does my optimism mean I'm in denial? Of course not! I mean, none of the buildings are on fire, right? Uh, see? Something good. Just like that, right off the top of my head. I admit that some CR Imperial Minister Shang is, well, not entirely competent or capable of dealing with our problems. But somehow, things will work out. They always do. Enjoy your stay in wonderful Tien's Landing, where things are never as bad as they seem. Hello, and welcome to Chuman's Woodcrafts. I'm afraid I don't have any woodwork items ready right now. My inventory's a bit understocked. Farewell. We ought to form a guild. Everyone else has them, why not us? The fisherman's life is a hard one. Don't let anyone tell you different. Ok we will ofir, san kasuir wo wo sir tana. Captain Ng can't get the ship out soon, there'll be a mutiny. A right bloody one, too. Irkana, Unnikasuri Irkwana no Kasa Iriluru. Ikirnik Tinepiru, Wu Iferek Uk Sun Puno. You taught me much, Xi'an, but the most valuable lessons were learning where you were wrong. 17th Square of the Lion, if you please. You are being rude, Xi'an. We have a guest. Let us place the game on hold a moment. Surely you know of Yi, the capturing game? Played on a board of 19 rows and columns, the black and white pieces capture territory for their player. Do not be so hasty, Jian. You did not turn me aside all those years ago. Nararo, na pirar pirni, ni takatashi. Niato no napadi irovir, kuni uk nawata ir. Forgive him. Had my former master bothered to remember his manners, he might have told you that we are not from Tien's Landing. We know little of the events here. Jian the Iron Fist isn't honestly going to let this one walk away, is he? 
If you don't say anything, then I will, you old goat. Sisai Pawao, Tikotro Tuaso. I too see strength, but also the capacity for understanding the world and your place in it. You could prove an interesting pupil. Paner nuku iwa ir nika sanaria iruru ni nua sa ir kana. He would like nothing more than to have you as a student, but show me that you walk the way of the open palm, and I will teach you the mysteries of stone immortal. Both tempest and stone immortal are very sensitive to your temperament. Harmony or discord can affect your ability to control air and earth respectively. Usair Koganato, Tanati, Katanano, Shafatoyo, Koganato, Siri Pananiko. Look at all these people here. When my old father told me to come to the big city, he never warned me about the crowds. Back on the farm, I ain't never seen so many people and buildings in one place. Except for livestock. But I guess they ain't people. Or buildings. My name's Tian. But everyone calls me Big Tion because I'm so big. I came to the city to try to find me a wife. So far, it's not going so good. Say, you're real pretty. You want to be my wife? You could come live on my farm. I got chickens and oxen and lots of land. It would be hard at first, working the farm by ourselves. But after you have six or seven kids, they can help out too. Oh, okay. Well, do you know any other pretty young gals looking for a husband? Well, that's a real shame. If you run across any nice gals, do me a favor and mention my name to them. Big Tian, you have a nice day now. Another day, another bowl of rice, I hope. Ghosts bring wind. Wind is no friend to a river fisherman, I can tell you that. If Captain Ng can't get the ship out, if one more of these villagers sneers at me, I'm going to start punching. This here's a private club. Members only. You can't. Just move along. You have a nice day now.
Hey, Baker Bay. How are you today? Go away! I told you I want no part of this. Tell Ai Ling to leave me alone. If you want to tell Ai Ling something, go tell her yourself. In the meantime, we have our orders. Nothing personal. <laughs> it's a little personal with me. I like sticking your face in the gutter. Hold on a sec. We've got company. You're a little too interested in our business, friend. Looks like we gotta teach you to back off when Ai Ling's boys are working. Staff! Just attack me in broad daylight like that. They... They might have killed me if you hadn't stepped in. Thank you. I never expected such help from a stranger. You spoke to Lan? How humiliating. My fiancé must have told you I can't protect myself. The woman I love doesn't have faith in me? Oh, what a shame. I'll never live this down. Yes, yes, you're right, of course. I suppose I can't fault Lan for being worried about me. I've taken some serious beatings lately. I didn't mean to sound ungrateful. I'm just worried about Lan. She's very emotional. I've done my best to try and keep her from becoming involved in this. Those thugs are acting on Eiling's orders. She's the head of their gang. They have a small hideout in the boathouse. Eileen and I were friends when we were children, but we drifted apart as we grew up. She fell in with some rough people, as you've already seen. Ever since I got engaged, Eileen has become obsessed with me. Every day, she sends her thugs to beat me up. She says she won't stop until I go talk to her. She's obviously crazy. I've done nothing to her. We haven't even spoken in years. If I go to her hideout to talk to her, I'm afraid that I'll never come out. At least the beatings on the street are out in public. They won't kill me in front of witnesses. Well, not on purpose anyway. No? Lan's very emotional. I didn't want her to get upset. At first, I didn't tell her anything at all. But I couldn't hide my bruises forever, so I told her about the beatings. But even then, I didn't mention Ai Ling. It's bad enough what's happening to me. I was afraid if Lan became more involved, Ai Ling might hurt her too. I'm being completely honest, I swear. I... I know how this looks. You must think I've done something to deserve this, but I have no idea why Ai Ling is after me. Thank you so much. Eileen and her thugs are in the boathouse. Please just ask her to leave me alone. All we want is to live our lives in peace. This here's a private club. Why didn't you say so in the first place? Go on in. They'll unlock the door for you.
careful. Trust no one in this place. We are a long way from your idyllic little village. So, I hear you helped out Baker Bay today. Gave my boys a bit of a lesson, didn't you? They took it pretty hard. <laughs> Even after all the beatings I gave them over the years, they still aren't used to losing to a girl. Maybe the humiliation will be good for them. Everyone thinks that Bay and that little seamstress make such a nice couple. But Bay already promised to marry me. I know what you're thinking. Why would Bay want to marry someone like me? I may not be a delicate little flower like Lon, but I don't want to run this gang forever. Someday I want a husband, maybe a little house, kids too. Bay promised to give me all that. He promised to marry me and now he's trying to weasel out of it. But a promise is a promise. I won't forget that, even if he tries to. Yeah, okay. If he has the guts to come here and face me, I'll talk to him. But I'm not going to let him weasel out of his promise. Lan, what are you doing here? I figure we better get all the secrets out, Bay. If Lan's going to marry you, she should know what kind of man you really are. She said there was something I need to know, Bay. What's going on? What is she talking about? What? Bay, how could you? I didn't. It's a lie. I haven't spoken to her in years. Not since we were kids. Don't pretend like you don't remember, Bay. It was summer and we were sitting on a little raft catching fish. I was upset because Li Shun had called me ugly. I was crying. So you took my hand and said, I think you're pretty, Eiling. And someday when we're grown up, I'll marry you. What? But that... That was years ago. We were kids. We were only six years old. Y you can't hold me to that. Kids say all kinds of things, Eileen. Remember when you took my frog and I called you a bully? You swore you'd never speak to me again. That same day you gave me the frog back, you said you'd never, ever, ever do anything to make me unhappy. Kids always say things like that. It doesn't mean anything. It meant something to me, Bay. You were the only boy who didn't tease me, the only one I liked. You promised to marry me, and you're going to keep that promise. Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, Lon, let's go. What? That's... that's crazy! You can't be serious. Eileen would kill her. Well, yes, I did say that. But that was when we were still friends. Now he pretends like he doesn't even know me. He's changed. Yes, but... well... You're right. I know you're right. Faye's right. We were just kids. I guess... I guess I can't hold him to his promise. You win, Lon. Faye is yours. If I had more, I would gladly give it to you. But my family isn't rich. This dowry is all I have. Please, take it with my thanks. All you've done for us, now you are letting Lan keep her dowry as well? Your generosity knows no bounds. I'm... 
I'm overwhelmed. You've done so much for us, and we've given you so little. Wait, I know. We will name our first child after you to honor your memory. I'm glad everything worked out for you two, and I'm... I'm sorry, Bay. I don't know what came over me. When I heard you and Lon were getting married, I just snapped. It's okay, Eileen. I hope... I hope things work out for you. Come on, Bay. Let's go. I hope things work out for Bay and Lon. After everything I put them through, they deserve it. I don't know what came over me. It's just... Bay was my last chance to have a family. My only chance to find a husband. When I heard he was engaged, I realized I'd never get out of this life I've created. What respectable man would ever want to marry a girl like me? Even the Lummoxes in my gang would only do it because they're afraid of me. This town is short on eligible bachelors as it is. I mean, there are a few guys out there I know of, but none of them would be interested in me. I have a reputation around town, and having my boys beat up Bay didn't help any. Any half-decent man would probably run if they saw me coming. Huh. You really think you can pull this off? Tell you what. You find me a decent husband, and I'll make it worth your while. My, uh, business ventures have been very profitable. But don't think I'm desperate enough to settle for just anyone. I've got my standards. And I'd have to meet him first, of course. Let's see. There's Rue the Bosun, but he's nothing but a drunk. My boys have had more than a few run-ins with him over the years. He's definitely out. Hmm. Schumann the Craftsman is single. I don't know him that well, but he seems like a good man. He has a home in the southwest corner of the town. And then there's Yaru. He used to be a sailor traveling the Empire, but now he's looking to settle down. He might be a good catch. Spends most of his time in the tea house. Not living in town, and Tien's Landing doesn't get a lot of visitors. But if you find someone looking for a wife, bring him by so I can check him out. Yeah, right. The pickings in Tien's Landing are mighty slim for a girl like me. But if you find someone, just bring him back so I can meet him. And, well, good luck. Wow, you sure are pretty. And you got a real nice club here for you and your friends. My name's Tian, but everyone calls me Big Tian because I'm so big. Big! Yes, I can see that. Well, Big Tian, my name's Ai Ling. I haven't seen you around town before. I'd remember someone like you. Yeah, I ain't never been to the big city before. Usually I stay out on my farm, but my old father told me it's time to get me a wife, so... Do you want to get married now? You aren't really the sharpest knife in the rack, are you, Tion? Hey, that's what my old father always says about me. He also says the key to farming is hard work and happy thoughts. A farm, eh? I've spent my whole life living in the town. I'm not sure I want to leave Tien's Landing. I can't argue with that. And I'm the kind of woman who doesn't mind getting her hands dirty with a little hard work. That's good, because sometimes you get real dirty out on the farm, especially when it rains. I think I'd like to talk to Tian a little bit more, in private. We need to get to know each other better. 
You lived up to your part of the bargain and brought me a decent prospect. So I'll live up to mine. Here's the silver I promised you. Woo-wee! Where'd a young gal like you get all that silver? <sighs> Tion, there's a lot I have to tell you. Stone Immortal allows you to control the Earth itself. It is not easy to master. To understand the Earth, you must be aware of all things around you and understand that they are all connected in one way or another. That is why Stone Immortal is only taught to those who follow the way of the Open Palm. Our sense of harmony aids us in persuading the Earth to serve as our ally. You know my name. That's really all that's important, isn't it? Not many know of my exploits outside of the prosperous East. A wonderful province. And yes, one that I call home. You should visit sometime and see the wonders of Phoenix Gate. Of course, the Imperial City still stands as the greatest city, but Phoenix Gate has its own charms. Standing on the sea of glass, it is a hub of trade. Each year, Jian and I make our way here to the Seat of Heaven province to meet for a few days of Yi. It's something of a ritual. I was once his student, until I decided I couldn't agree with all of his teachings. He was an excellent master, but I couldn't follow his philosophies. Twenty years have passed since we parted ways, and while we disagree on principle, I can't help but feel some affection for the old man. <laughs> This is why we only meet once a year to play Yi. Jian the Iron Fist is best taken in small doses. It was nice to talk for a while. When you feel that you sufficiently understand the way of the open palm, return to me. Sisaya Niato nonapati irovir, kuni ugnawata ir. Unnikasurir kwana no kuni ugnawata ir, nik nipir. Onawa ferro, so all, kuna, Sata kwana uno nap, seer, ritsu tata seer. Ikirnik tine piru, wo ipirek uok sun puno. Unnikasuri er kwana no koni uok nawata ir, nik nipi er. Wo wo sun puno no, ya papak nasi a uir sa ir uod. Sa ir yaguak, kokonato si ir ipanoniniku. Wonakapir sari awaf, pan sier suorufus i sinosaurus usuno. Wotowir u kawa 
Ona ir u Suanata Hoki. Ja to uvodno napadi Irovir. Sada tao je uvodnao vuku no sukutnija alafala i sutok. Ananiya ifu wir uk sonaruk noga uk snapir. Si sair yud, between near dono. Always a... You have some understanding of the way of the open palm, but stone immortal is not easily taught. Return to me when you feel you understand the way of the open palm. Then you will be ready. When you feel that you sufficiently understand the way of the open palm, return to me. Ready. Wo apa wir sun urk von ihr uk? Uksir sa fit kup kup wo sarkir. Put that sword back, Lout. Surely there was never a minister as unlucky as Minister Sheng to suffer such insolence. Kuni on you Tashika wheel for your South Arab horny? And still, poor Minister Sheng suffers the insults of tradesmen who know nothing of justice. Where would I put the lout? My jail has been burned to the ground, along with my office, I might add. I have no place to put thieves, so stop questioning your betters. Emperor won't allow those slaving pirates to keep attacking the villages. You'll see. Good, you're here. We can continue where we left off before. You've got unfinished business with us first. Oh, there are important matters at hand, yet you fellows keep interrupting. I'm surprised you're this eager to get another beating so soon. This time we brought some friends to even up the odds. Legendary 
strike. <laughs> Heavenly wave. <laughs> Legendary strike. <laughs> You certainly look like Lee's top student, though there's something odd about how you fight. I can't put my finger on it. It doesn't matter. The sailors won't bother us again. We can get back to business. Sun Lee gave me instructions to await you if... if anything should happen. I have prepared for this day for well over a decade. The full extent of what the glorious strategist knows is beyond my mind to comprehend. He is without peer. All I know is that I had instructions to wait for you. Sun Lee asked me to seek a piece of a special amulet he wanted you, his prized pupil, to have. It was broken apart and scattered when the spirit monk temple fell. He intended to, and I assume he did, give the main piece to you. Rumor placed a smaller part with a fleeing apprentice monk, but it had been some years and the trail was cold. I eventually learned the monk had fled to Old Tien's landing. He was there a year or so, but died of lingering injuries and was buried with his possessions unsorted. It was rushed at the time because the new dam was due to close and Old Tien's would become a watery tomb. The amulet was beyond reach, so I came here and waited. Now the Lotus Assassins have drained the lake and exposed the ruins of Old Tien's landing. It seems they are searching for this piece of the Spirit Monk amulet, too. The Emperor is privy to much. I don't know his motives, but any aid to you is likely a threat to him. You must go to the ruins and find the amulet piece meant for you. I choose to believe that my service was valuable and vital. You would have come here eventually. The amulet would draw you at least. My assignment is to give you information to help you acquire the amulet. I will gladly answer whatever questions I can. I only know that I had to find the piece I was tracking. I did so. It is in the ruins. You must find it before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to help your master. The gates leading to the ruins are locked, but Minister Shang can give you the key. You can find him in the town square, the highest point in Tian's Landing. I suspect the Minister is eager to have someone investigate the opening of the Great Dam. You can use this as an excuse to get the key and explore the ruins. You are wise to ask. It is a difficult but essential skill to master. Spirit Thief is always useful. It is common to get run down or injured during battle, and you can tire yourself even further concentrating your chi to aid yourself. 
When you are feeling such a drain on your resources, switch to Spirit Thief, and each successful blow will restore you slightly. The drain will not hamper your opponent, however. If you power through an opponent's guard with its strongest attack, it can briefly immobilize an enemy. During this, you can concentrate and increase the restoration. If you use that time to attack with another style, be careful. Your opponent may not be as vulnerable as they seem, and one must never be overconfident of victory. My assignment is to give you information to help you... Pirates have raided local villages using flyers, swooping down like locusts. Minister Shang said he would stop them, but his promises have done nothing. You can find Shang near his still smoldering office in the center of town. I'm sure he will welcome your assistance, even if your reasons are your own. It is said that the water dragon is the shepherd of the dead and a symbol of life and restoration. Beyond that is philosophy and not for a soldier to know. As you see, I know little about the celestial powers. I knew less before Sun Li asked this service of me. I thought such beings were beyond physical assault. I was mistaken. I don't know how the attack was made or what blade could cut the heart from a god, but I do know that any man who would attempt such a plan is arrogant beyond imagining. Remember, go to the ruins and claim the amulet before the Lotus Assassins do. You will need it to survive the trials that lie ahead.